I have missed you so much. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi, flower friends. Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and I'm headed to my basement to check on my Lizzie seedlings. I planted those 16 days ago. Nope, 17. Today's January 17th. They were planted on January 1st. I thought I'd go check them out with you guys, but also I want to tell you guys about a free tool, really a collection of free tools that can help you when you're planning out either your farm or just your garden. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's go check on the Lizzie's first. Here is my basement grow room from the outside. <laughs> uh, it's still pretty messy. We still have to clean it up. Uh, but here, I'm only using a couple right now. Okay, so the other day I showed you guys some plug trays of campanula and I potted those up. They're doing well. They're looking good. I'll get them out into the hoop house soon. I also potted up some anemones. I'm going to do a separate video. I have dried flowers all over the place. I'm not even kidding, but I have anemones that I started and I'm starting to see some life. Ooh, lots of life actually, but I wanted to do a video a little bit more in depth with those. I use these old tags to write down the name. This is the caramel pastel on the back of a bap. Anyway, over here is where the Lysianthus are living on the heat mats underneath this light. This is a light that I picked up several years ago. I actually have to turn it off to show you the Lysianthus though. I'm just using this little spray bottle. My mister actually broke. I need to get another one. All right, I turned that light off because it's incredibly difficult to see and I actually might have to bring these over to a better lighting situation, but I can see all that green. Let's put it under better lights. Okay, we have amazing germination on the Lysianthus. You see all of those little tiny babies. I'm going to let them grow in here for probably another month before I pot them up. We'll see. If they start to grow faster, then I'll do it earlier. But this is a way to start a lot of seeds in a tiny tray. Wow. Look at the little babies. Look at that little cluster of happy babies right here. Those are so cute. All right, so that's a shot of 17 day old Lysianthus. And guys, what a stark difference between varieties of flowers. I could have some 17 day old seedlings that are already ready to put out in the field. It's really incredible how slowly these babies grow. Here's a closer look at that campanula. Now these were out in the hoop house for a long time. I could go through with a, with a pair of scissors and just clip off the dead. Uh, I have several different colors. These. I could have planted them in the fall. I just ran out of time and didn't do it. I have six trays of these and there are several different colors. I have rose, I have white, I have blue, I have purple. I think I have two different color blues, but yeah, they look good. I'll get those out in probably a month. I'll put them out in the hoop house. Okay, now that I've shown you a little bit of what I've got, this is these are the only lights that are on down here. I I've, I've have several videos about all of my equipment down here. You can see that's actually a timer that goes, my lights are on for 16 hours a day. They automatically shut off and turn on so I don't have to mess around with it because I'm, honestly, I'm usually sleeping before 10 o'clock, let's be honest. Definitely a huge fan of timers. I have dehumidifiers down here. Those aren't on yet because it's, when this is loaded with plants, the humidity level in here gets up to, in the 80s, close to 90%. I have to have sometimes two dehumidifiers running down here to keep it between, I would say, 60, 65% humidity down here. That's where I found that things really grow well. I have eight of these units. I have uh, lights everywhere, lots of different things. And I don't use specialty lights. The only specialty light I have is the one that's over the Lysianthus. And I don't really need that one. I had just bought it years ago, not realizing that all I need is shop lights if I'm growing things to uh, just to grow to a certain stage and put out in the field. Anyway, this video is not about all my gear. Perhaps I will do one of those. This is about free tools that you guys can use right on the internet to help you plan out your garden. Turn this light back on, otherwise the Lysianthus gets leggy and we don't need that. And now more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, 
deepen existing passions and get lost in your creativity. As we get closer to opening up the nursery, you guys know that time management is going to be very important as I juggle the two businesses between the farm and the nursery. That idea led me to this class called Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity. Now, Ali is a doctor and a YouTuber, and he knows how to manage his time well, and he's sharing his secrets with us. Ali breaks down the concept of productivity, and he teaches us how we can use the power of habits to make things happen. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and new classes are always being added. The first 1,000 people to click on my link in the description will get one free month of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, now we're back in my dining room. I have my lappy top in front of me, and I'll probably switch to the screen recorded version of this. Let me go ahead and start screen recording, so then I can use the audio from this video and use the video from my screen recording. Applications, QuickTime. QuickTime is not quick to find. I have my seeds behind me. Guys, I have been going over all of my seeds and my collections and, and making um, things like schedules. These are all of my sunflower seeds that I have. I'm making a video about all of the sunflowers that I'm growing this year and my schedule of how many I want each week, what I'm planting each week, stuff like that. Okay, quick time, file, screen recording. The idea for this video was born just the other day when I posted a picture of my queen lime zinnias and I said something about, I made a joke. It was a sarcastic post. I was saying how it was a warning. These are highly addictive. In fact, I'll just read the post for you. Warning, the Queenie Lime Zinnia series has been proven to be addictive, even in small doses. Growing just a few may cause the user to add additional seed packets to carts at random. Pictured is Queen Lime Red, who demands photography upon every harvest. Somehow, Queen has hacked into my system and placed herself in an entire 100 foot row of my crop plans this year. You have been warned. I kept getting messages, Nicole, how many plants do you need for a hundred foot row? Uh, and I got this question at least a dozen times and I thought, well, why don't I go over the planning tool, one of the ones that you can use, because there are many, many amazing tools that you can use on the internet. But I find the growers library on Johnny's website is such an extremely useful tool. And it's been crucial in me planning out my crops for several years now. And I mentioned this before in a video, I think last year, but it was kind of buried in the middle of a video. I wanna make a video dedicated to people who are looking for tools to help them plan out their garden. There are a lot of people who are charging for this kind of information. And it's honestly, it is free and it's at your fingertips. Okay, so I'm recording right now. I'm on the Johnny's Seed Cat. Let me go to the Johnny's homepage. Okay, on Johnny's homepage. All right, and this is not sponsored by Johnny's at all. It's actually sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, on the top, you've got vegetables, fruits, flowers, herbs, all the way over to the right, Grower's Library. Go ahead and click on Grower's Library. Okay, if you go down on the left, you will see instructional videos, planning tools, and calculators. So much valuable information is in here. I'm gonna click on planning tools and calculators and seed quantity calculator. And you could think of this like a seedling quantity calculator. That's how I think of it because I always have, you need more seeds than seedlings because you're not gonna have 100% germination and survival rate. So keep that in mind. So seed quantity calculator, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Down here, you have two options. And guys, there is a US measuring system. You've got the feet and the inches, and then there is the metric system. So you can use this wherever you live in the world. This will work for you. Option one allows you to pick something from their crop choices and then calculate how many plants or seeds that you would need. But I use option two, where I provide the number or the length of my row that I want to plant in, and it calculates based on spacing how many plants you need and you put in the spacing which is why i use this calculator option one they do the calculations for you based on suggested spacing for cut flowers we tend to grow things a little bit closer together than recommendations call for so i like to be able to put the numbers in and have the calculations come up for me over here all right option two let's go for it i'm using us number of inches between seeds and plants okay so let's just 
take zinnias, for example. I am going to be planting my zinnias. Let's be a little bit more cautious this year. In years past, I've done a six inch spacing. I think I am gonna stick to a nine inch spacing for this year because your plants are less likely to get powdery mildew, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna say I'm putting nine inches between my zinnias and the length of my row is 100 feet. But then look over here, number of rows. So technically you're thinking about the bed, the bed, how many rows are in the bed? So my bed is 100 feet long and inside that bed, I'm going to have three rows of zinnias at nine inches apart. So then you click the calculate button. So for my total 100 foot row of zinnias, I will need 400 seedlings to transplant. And you can do this with anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna do snapdragons. I'm gonna also have a 100 foot row of snapdragons. I have four inches in between my snapdragons. It's a 100 foot row, but I can add more rows within the bed because snapdragons are closer together. I'm gonna play it safe and say I have eight rows in my bed. So I'll plant eight across, which I believe is what I did last year. So I calculate, I can plant 2,400 snapdragon seedlings into my 100 foot bed of snapdragon. So that is how many snapdragons I will need to fill that space. And guys, you can do this with anything. Let's say Rubecchia. I'm gonna go six inches of Rubecchia. I only want 50 foot row of Rubecchia. So if they're six inches apart, let's say I'm gonna put four of them across the row and then I'm gonna calculate that. So for a 50 foot bed of Rubecchia, I need 400 plants. For my status, which I am going to plant at 12 inches apart, I definitely think that status is important to have uh, spaced out well. The plants just get massive. I'm going to have 100 feet and I'm going to only have three rows. So I need 300 seedlings of status for a 100 foot row. You can change this to whatever size row or bed you have. Say you only have five feet that you can dedicate to status. You need 15 plants, 15 plants in a five foot space. So this is an easy tool for you to use and it doesn't have to be just flowers. Say you wanna plant beans, you can still calculate whatever you want to plant figure out what your spacing is. And a lot of that information is free online. And it's also found on either uh, Florette's website. You can find a lot of good information about spacing. You also can find a tremendous resource of information inside Lisa Mason Ziegler's Cool Flowers book because she actually is giving you spacing for cut flowers, not for landscaping, things like that. But you can also use this for your garden vegetables. You guys get the idea. It's an easy free tool to help you calculate exactly how many plants or seedlings or even seeds if you're direct sowing that you're going to need in order to fill your space. All right, guys, that's it. I actually have to run. I am going to speak to a master gardeners club today, this afternoon. So I'm gonna to try to edit this video before I head there. And then I have so many other things planned for the rest of my day. And that mostly includes calculating my field plan for the rest of this day. And I've got some new tools that I wanna try out and uh, see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna export this file so I can show you guys 1080p. I do not need 4K. It's gonna be a tremendously long file. I wish you guys the best of luck with your garden planning or your farm planting, planning, planting, planning, whatever you're doing right now. I just saw somebody's post, somebody in Texas was planting cool flowers. Yeah, that's not here, that's not the case. Upstate New York, and guys, we don't even have that much snow. I think we have about an inch of snow and we don't have any real accumulations of snow in the 10 day forecast. I am not sure, we, we always get snow in February and we get snow in March and we have an occasional snowstorm in April and we've known to have snow flying in the air on Mother's Day. It is what it is, I'm not gonna wish my life away even though I really wanna get my hands in the dirt. I am going to be starting some seeds this week, I will bring you guys along with that, but I have a lot of things going on this week so I'm not sure what my next video on tap will be. I also will be chatting with Sunflower Steve this week. I'll bring you guys an update on what's going on with Sunflower Steve and his adventure that he's on. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. And guys, the Gladiola sale is still open. We have 
I would say we're coming close to where it's gonna be at capacity. So if you were interested in placing an order for the Gladiolas, the link to that sale is in the description below. Remember, I'm not selling these. I am just providing the opportunity for you guys to get them from one of my wholesalers. Invoices will be going out soon and Corms should be shipping in April. Should be shipping. That's a tough one. Hello, seedlings. You look lovely today.